Okay, this is MITD1544 and now we're busy with 1.8 which is the co-terminal angles. Now remember, co-terminal means exactly what the words, the words are telling us there. Co means together and terminal is the side that is moving in, in, around in a circle. So here is our terminal. Alright, here's the terminal that moved now from the original eastern position, the zero degrees. So, co-terminal means the angles that has or have the same terminal. So, therefore, this, um, this alpha and this beta will be co-terminal because they have the same terminal together on the terminal. Co together uh, and terminal so they have the same terminal so this is very important for us so let us just go here 183 so um, this 30 degrees and this 390 degrees are co-terminal because this 390 is right around to get 360 and then back to three another 30 so it must definitely have the same terminal so 30 and 390 therefore are co-terminal okay so if we add 360 to a, 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 an angle or 2 pi if we do radii we must get the same uh, code we must get a co-terminal angle and also when we remove so if I start with 390 and I remove 360, I must give, get a co-terminal angle because I'm doing a revolution. I must stand in the same position. The terminal must stand in the same position because, I mean, if the terminal is over there and I go right around, it must be there again. Okay, and then the other important ones, that is if... The, uh, this is if we go around, but here we have pi over 4 in the positive direction and therefore minus 7 pi over 4 must also be co-terminal um, because that's just in the other direction. So that I can find by pi over 4 minus 2 pi because I'm just... Pi, remember 2 pi represents 360 degrees represents a revolution so if your people just work out pi over 4 minus 2 pi you should get negative 7 pi over 4 okay so in other words um, if we go if we add 2 pi or we minus 2 pi we will get co-terminal angles. So let's look now at minus 9, 960 here. Minus 960. So if I take this negative 960 and I add 360. And then I'm getting minus 600. That will be a co-terminal. If I add another 360, I'm getting to negative 240. That will be another co-terminal. If I add another 360, I'm getting to 120. I'm just going to write this one in here, the positive one. So that gives me another co-terminal angle. Okay, so there's not just one because I can go around and around and around and around, standing in the same position, standing in the same position. So all of those will be co-terminal angles. All right, so let's take now, this is now double envy because remember, we want to work in radians. Otherwise, we cannot do calculus. All right, so if I have 37 pi over 4, okay, let me just enter it here. 37 pi over 4. And I want a co-terminal angle for that. So now I can minus 2 pi. So minus 2 pi. I'm getting uh, 24 over 9 pi. So that is a co-terminal angle. Let's remove another 2 pi. Then I'm getting 21 over 4 pi. So that is another co-terminal angle. Let's remove another 2 pi. Then I'm getting 13 over 4 pi. That is another co-terminal angle. 
let me move, remove another 2 pi. Move another 2 pi. And I'm getting 5 over 4 pi. And that's the one we want to use. Because this one is now back between 0 and 360 degrees. Where is 5 pi over 4? We said, okay, this is 4 pi over 4 in the beginning of the lesson. So 5 pi over 4 is going to be in the third quadrant. So this 5 over 4 pi will now be in the third quadrant. So we want to come back to our four quadrants. So we we're not going to use this one. We're not going to use this one. We're not going to use this one. We will use 5 pi over 4 because that is back into the four quadrants between 0 and 360 degrees or 0 and 2 pi. So when we want to find a coterminal angle, although all of those others are fine, they're all coterminal angles, we will like to come back to the, the first one we find with inside uh, 0 to 360 degrees or 0 to 2 pi. Okay, I hope that, that makes sense to you. Okay, let us just find here a coterminal angle that is inside. Okay, so we do for 405 and we minus 360 and it's 45. That one is easy. So this will be then the cos. Remember, we must use the coterminal angle to find the value. And remember, all these things are without calculators. So it's cos 45. And then we will go to our triangles and find the value. All right. So the first step is to find the coterminal angle. So this will be the cot. Now I find the, the coterminal angle, angle. So if I take 780 minus 360, oh, that's still too big. Minus 360 again, it's 60. So cot 60. Right. So now what is the tan of 60? Uh, go to my triangle. I see it's square root 3 over 1. So cot must be the reciprocal. So 1 over square root 3. Alright. Now, this is sine. Okay, so 9 pi over 4. I'm going to subtract 2 pi. 9 pi over 4. Minus 2 pi. Oh, that gives me pi over 4. So this is sine pi over 4. Well, that's 45 degrees. So this will just be 1 over square root 2. Not too difficult. Okay, so that's how we try to find our coterminal angle first. And then we will find the values.